to the bullying against a 12-year-old girl was so bad, she killed herself. And police say it was all over a boy. Two girls, one 14, the other 12, were arrested yesterday in connection with Rebecca Sedwick's death. She jumped off a silo and committed suicide last month. Investigators say the two suspects bullied her in school and online. And there was even a physical altercation with one of her alleged tormentors. Now, the girls are charged with aggravated stalking. That's a felony. Investigators say this was all over a boy. They say the 14-year-old girl was dating Rebecca's ex-boyfriend. Police weren't planning to arrest the girls. That is until a Facebook post came up over the weekend from the 14-year-old. It reads there, yes, I know I bullied Rebecca and she killed herself, but I don't give a blank. Right now, that girl is in custody. The 12-year-old has been released to her parents. Joining me now, Robin Dan Dantana. Uh, sorry, Robin. She is the founder of the International Bullying Prevention Association and the author of 101 Facts About Bullying That Everyone Should Know. Robin, thanks for being here with us. You know, you agree criminal charges should have been filed here, but the big question, since this is happening over and over again, is that enough? Well, I think that it's really a terrible, terrible experience that any parent or any school or any community should have to experience. So when the question comes up, is that enough, I say we need to back it up and say, what are we doing about prevention? When bullying or cyberbullying reaches the point that it, it reaches a critical mass and someone is deeply hurt or, as in this case, dies, then we have to say, where has the system failed and what can we do better to prevent it from happening again? And you know, Robin, it's interesting. So often in our meetings here at Evening Express, we have the conversation, you know, if people just could get a license to be a parent rather than just having kids, then, then so many things would be prevented. And this is what's interesting. Police say the suspect's parents wouldn't actually bring them to the police station. Officers had to go to their homes and arrest their girls. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Is, is there a certain responsibility that parents have here that they're not stepping up to the plate on? Well, I think that all parents need to really take a look at what their children are doing and under, help their children understand from when they're very young that when they do something inappropriate or hurtful, then there have to be consequences for those behaviors. And certainly it doesn't begin at that point when you have a 12 or a 13 year old or 14 year old. It really begins when they're very young. So yes, parents do need to take, a, take the responsibility and step up. But we again have to go back and look at what what were the underpinnings of these behaviors? What caused it to reach such a point where um, we have to be talking about yeah. criminal charges? Yes, that's such a good point. And that the fact that there was such a coldness in that Facebook post.